What's up guys? Today we are going to do a ignition relocation and coil relocation on the iron 883 slash 1275 conversion. So we're going to be removing the ignition key and ignition coil, moving it over to the other side of the bike. That'll clean it up under the front end quite a bit. I've already done a wire tuck on here. I'm going to have to undo a little bit of that to get to these wires. So basically we're just going to lift the tank up, undo some of the wire tuck, move these over, put new spark plug wires on, and it should clean up the front of the iron very nicely. I apologize in advance, this is going to be a bit of a long video, but I will walk you guys through it in as much detail as I possibly can to help you guys do your own ignition and coil relocation. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take off the bolt going through our tank and holding the front ears of the tank on. I already have a tank lift kit on there, so to take that off I need a half inch drive socket and a quarter inch drive hex head. And we'll take it off with one on this side, one on this side, and go. Once you guys get the bolt out that's holding your tank on, go ahead and set that aside and we're going to take a little block of wood and lift the tank up, set on the block of wood, and that will make it a lot easier to get under here and work. Now, before we go any further, we need to take the battery cover off the left side here. Don't have to take it all the way off, just get it down to get to this fuse right here. This is your main fuse. Let's see if we can slide this off of that bracket. This main fuse coming off of your battery, you're gonna squeeze these two black tabs right there, pop that cover off, and then disconnect the main fuse. Set that aside carefully along with the cover. That will protect the bike since we are working on electrical things. Once you guys have the bolt off, your ignition coil and ignition switch will be loose. To help loosen it further, go ahead and pull your spark plug wires off of the coil. All right, this can be a little difficult to see, but hopefully you guys can see in here. On the back side of your ignition coil, you've got a plug with this little tab. We lift up on that tab and disconnect that wire. That disconnects our ignition coil. Now that your ignition coil is unplugged, the last thing we need to do is disconnect this whole harness mess that's holding it in place from the ignition switch. The ignition switch is wired into the bike here. There's nowhere to unplug it back down the line. So we're leaving it here. We'll move it to our new location in a minute, but we're leaving it wired. And we need to take a Torx head and unscrew this to take that ignition off, that ignition switch. Got our Torx head set here. Need our small wrench with an extension bar that will be helpful and probably easier to get to it on this side, right here, yep. Oh, that's it, all right, that is a TH25, Torx Head 25, we'll fit that screw for you guys. Get this set up here. When you guys are doing this, try not to hold on to your ignition switch unit itself over here. Try to grab onto the mounting bracket it's on so you don't put any pressure on your actual switch. I think that's it. Yes, it is. Perfect. All right, so that one screw comes out and now we can free the ignition coil. All right, just a little careful maneuver here around the wires. Perfect. There's our ignition coil. Now we need to get it off of this old bracket and we will do that with some hex heads over at the bench because these are on here freaking tight. My apologies for the state of my bench right now. I've got multiple projects going on on the Harley that I'm filming for you guys. So trying to uh, keep everything organized at the moment is a bit of a shit show. All right. Ooh, yep, that's gonna do it. Okay, that is a 316th 
hex head that will fit that. I need three quarter drive. What a mess this whole bracket design is. What a giant mess. All right, let's get this in here. There we go. There's two, there's your ignition coil. I'm just gonna take a little, uh, very slightly damp, nothing majorly wet here because you're done with electrical, but slightly damp rag, wipe this off, clean it up, and get it looking good here. All right, so this next part is more of my own personal hell because I already did the wire tuck earlier this year, so I now have to undo it. On your Harley, you may have plastic here that you're removing before you do the wire tuck. Just rip the plastic off and you're gonna use some of this Easy Fuse silicone tape, which you can get pretty much Whatever the hell it is here, here we go. You can get this basically any hardware store. It's high temperature, just sticks to itself. It's way better than electrical tape, which will get ruined. But high temperature, waterproof, watertight, everything, you just stretch it two or three times its length, wrap it around really tight, and it fuses to itself. Awesome stuff. It's expensive, it's like 20 bucks a roll, but absolutely worth it. So we're gonna use this to rewrap the wires. So we'll get some of these wires separated now and we will get the ignition switch and everything relocated over here to the left side. So what you guys are trying to rescue from the wiring up front is the plug that went to your magnetos, your ignition coil, and the ignition switch itself. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little snipping of cable ties here to free this mess up and get these flipped. But what you want is for both of these to go over the top of the frame, under the tank, to the left side of the bike. So that's what we're gonna do now. Now that you've got your two wires on the left side of the bike, we're gonna wrap these two wires all the way back up to the wiring harness, make sure they're nice and taped up well with that silicone tape. And we need to prep this side of the bike. So we can go ahead and take the spark plug wire off each of our cylinders here. One, two, set those aside. We're gonna be using new ones. And now we need to take off these two screws from the cylinder heads, these two bolts. That is accomplished with a TH Torx head 45, size 45. There's two. Make sure you hang on to both of these because obviously when we put the bracket back on, you're going to be putting these back through back into your cylinder head. So hang on to these, make sure you don't lose them or the washers that are on there. Make sure you keep those as well. Next, we're gonna prep our ignition coil. We're gonna use the longer bolts that DK Custom included, put them through the holes in the front, slide this rubber gasket that they included over the back. You're gonna use the old plate that you took off from before. We'll set this on here like that, put this plate the bolts will screw through there. If you guys aren't aware, Harleys tend to shake quite a bit, so a little bit of blue thread locker on everything we do, just because we don't want it coming apart. Now we can start by hand tightening these with a 3 16 hex head, same one we used to take the old ones off, same size. There's one. Good, and then back on the old ratchet and tighten her down a bit. When you're done, it should look like that. And now we're going to go ahead and install this onto the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the bike with our two Torx head bolts for the cylinder heads. Make sure, oh yeah, I uh, had a little mishap with the razor blade, so makeshift bandage. Make sure you plug the power for your ignition coil back in before you get this on here, otherwise it's gonna be hard to reach behind it. So plug that in first. So make sure you got that plugged in. We're gonna seat this right on top of our cylinder heads like that. Boom, boom. You can go ahead and tighten these down by hand as much as possible. It is a little bit easier with that T45 Torx head. Get a little bit more of a grip on them. And again, Harley shake, 
these did have a little bit of thread locker on them. It wasn't Loctite, it was some sort of other thread locker. I'm not exactly sure what, but make sure you put some on there. Loctite is your savior when it comes to Harley installations. All right, once those are down, fairly tight, hand tight, go ahead and put your torque wrench on and you're going to tighten to 48 foot-pounds of torque. Not much room to work in here, so swing carefully so you don't scratch up your cylinder heads. There's 48 on that side. There's 48 on that side. Yep, good. Once your bracket and your ignition coil are on, take your engine uh, ignition switch, the rubber gasket that they give you from DK Customs, and the new longer bolt that they include from DK Customs. You can put the bolt through your bracket here. Again, Loctite, blue 242 Loctite. Is a must when you are working with a Harley. Let's see if we can just get started a bit hand tight there. There we go. And then that is going to screw down, not with a Torx like the original, but with a 1 8 inch hex head. So that's the bracket installed with your ignition switch, your ignition coil. The rubber seats they include, I don't like this red, so what I'm going to do is as I squeezed it down by tightening this bolt, it squeezed out some rubber around the edge. So I'm probably going to take an X-Acto knife and just trim that back so it's perfectly flush. And then just take a black Sharpie and color it in black so it's not bright red and noticeable. And same for the red rubber seat down here for the ignition coil. At least I'll get a Sharpie in there as far as I can go and black it out. And you'll never see underneath, but just the top of that red, black that out. And I think that'll be perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and get our new spark plugs, our spark plug wires rather, on here and set those up. These are also DK Custom. Got them in red and black. Not exactly sure what I was thinking there. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the red on the bike. Might grow on me, but uh, I think I may end up swapping these out for a blacked out setup. Don't know, we'll see. You go on there like that, good. And plug in down there like that, good. And you go on there like that, and plug in over there like that. There we go. All right, we got the wires all tucked back up underneath. Tank is situated back down, bolt is through here. So now all we have to do is tighten up our front tank bolt again, and we will be all set to go. Definitely gonna swap these out for black. And when I do the handlebars, which will be coming up here hopefully soon, might go to a two inch tank lift. I think this is only inch or inch and a half. Might go to two or two and a half, get this up because it is pretty tight getting these cables under here. So going to a bit of a taller angle on the tank lift would definitely help with the wiring. And when I do the handlebars, which will be coming up here hopefully soon, might go to a two inch tank lift. I think this is only inch or inch and a half. Might go to two or two and a half, get this up because it is pretty tight getting these cables under here. So going to a bit of a taller angle on the tank lift would definitely help with the wiring. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it. We got the ignition coil, the ignition switch, the tank is back down with the tank lift. All the wires are routed properly. Looking at the front of the bike now, it's much cleaner up in here. None of that weird crap hanging there for the ignition switch. These throttle cables I will route up here when I do the uh, new handlebars. But for the moment, they can sit right there. Much cleaner, better airflow, and I think it looks much, much nicer. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions on this video, let me know down below. I'll try my best to answer and help you guys out if you're doing this to your bike. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, it's the big red button. Click the bell icon next to it, and that will give you guys notifications when there are new videos to watch right here on Motoblade. The riding season is just around the corner up here. The roads are finally clear of snow, so I'm getting the bikes ready to go. They're washed, they're detailed, they're ready for spring. I just need to get some taller handlebars here on the Iron 1275, and we'll be ready to rock. 
In case you guys weren't aware, this is a 1275 Hammer Performance Kit. Got the Arlen S Velocity 65 air intake and the Vance and Hines short shots. It is a absolute torque beast. So I can't wait to get this thing out on the road. I just got to get these bars higher because otherwise it is a pain in my back, literally all day riding with these short bars. Let me know what you guys think about the red spark plug wires. I'm really thinking black would look better, but if you guys like the red, I might leave them red. So let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And as always, till next time, ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you all later. Deuces.